In today's video, I'm gonna show you the best way to showcase the result of your work to your clients. We're gonna use a free platform called Pixelset alongside with Lightroom. And I'm gonna show you how your clients can leave comments and mark their favorites or the ones that need some change and how to find these files back in Lightroom in no time. E aí, a Manry, Brazilian photographer and filmmaker living in Italy, and in this channel I help you with the tech tools to be creative. And today we're talking about Pixiset, which is a platform that I adopted a long time ago when I had to deliver files from my photography clients. And usually people like to use Drive or Dropbox or something like that, but these are not platforms that were meant to deliver photos in a photographic way. These platforms are great to deliver files. But if you want to impress your clients, Pixiset is going to be a much better option for this. The idea is you're going to develop your pictures in whichever software you prefer. In my case, it's going to be Lightroom. And you're going to import these files inside Pixiset to generate some sort of gallery that is really much more impressive than just delivering the files in whatever way. One bonus is that the client can even have a specific app on their phone just to showcase the pictures. They're gonna be able to mark their favorites and put their comments all inside the system and you're gonna be able to see it on there also. So there's no need at all to be exchanging emails or WhatsApp messages or things like that. So this is gonna be a very practical tutorial, so let's go to the computer. All right, so let me show you what Pixelset looks like. So this is the main screen. I'm just gonna log in because I already have a registration. And as soon as you enter, you're gonna be greeted with your dashboard that shows you there's all the links up here from the things that you can do. And below there's some new activity. For example, if someone downloaded something, if they favorited any picture or things like that. And I'm just gonna go to manage collections here for you to see. So I have four collections right now in this account and I'm just gonna use this one as an example for you guys. So inside one collection, you're gonna upload all of your pictures. You just have to click add photos and drag and drop the files in here. They're gonna be uploaded and you can reorder them the way that you want. So you can sort them by name, by upload date or random, the way that you prefer. And the moment that they are here, you can already visualize how the gallery is gonna look like. You just have to come to view, it's gonna open a new tab or a new window, and it's gonna have one cover picture with the text, the name, this is all customized, it's so cool. And below it's gonna create this masonry gallery that it just looks so nice. The pictures are not exactly in tiles, they are, they are positioned a little bit like this, which looks really, really nice and it makes for a super beautiful presentation. As you can see, like full screen, there is a little gap in between the pictures and all of these are customized. The spacing, how they're ordered, the color, if you want black on white or white on black, everything can be changed. So let me go back and show you some of the options that you're gonna have here. So here you got all the pictures, you can just reorder them manually if you want but I just normally use either by date or just do a random ordering to look cool. You can set many different privacy options here. Like for example, putting a password to access the files, which I always do, but also a pin so that only people with the pin can actually download the pictures. There are many safety barriers here not to let people just grab your files. And here, as you can see, you can change the thumbnail size, the color of things. You can put it dark or you can put it light the way that you prefer. And you can also choose this is what I find really cool. You can have the title according to the picture you want to use as the cover. You might want the title in different spaces or maybe splitting the screen in half. There are many different options and here it's showing me the cover for the desktop page and also for the mobile version. So you're going to have an idea already how it's going to look on both of them. So if your client opens it on the phone or if they open it on the computer, you're going to be sure that they're going to be seeing exactly what you're seeing here. In here, there are two settings that I always leave us on, which are the favorite and the notes, so that your clients can actually favorite by clicking on a heart on the picture, showing you that they really like that picture, and also they can leave some notes if they want to ask you something about it. And finally, as the last option, you have a store here in which you can activate your pictures to be sold also. So if the client likes one of the pictures and they want to buy it, it's going to be connected automatically with a print shop somewhere that you can choose is delivered directly to your client without you having to do anything in the middle. Now this is the free version and then there are many options that are not available to you right now until you upgrade to a paid account. And some important limitations to know is that you have only 3 gigabytes to upload your pictures and the store commission is quite high at 15%. So to cancel these two limitations you have to access one of the paid plans. 
And I really think that depending on the amount of clients you have at the same time in which you need to definitely upload more than three gigabytes of files, it's totally worth it because it's so easy to use this. And now this one feature that always impresses the clients. It's the possibility of creating a mobile app with their pictures. So like for example, there is this couple photo shoot that I did. All the pictures are here. And then when you click on design, you can actually see already here a smartphone preview on how it's gonna be. What they're gonna do is they're gonna download an app that actually has an icon which is one of the pictures that you took so everything is customized. It's like you really developed an app just for them with their pictures. It looks amazing. So you're gonna choose the text, you're gonna choose the cover picture, you can choose a different theme and the same way you do on desktop you can also change the way that pictures look on the mobile version. And here you can change the icon of the app. So here is one of their pictures and it just looks so cool on your phone to see your own picture as an app itself with your name. And there's a call to action button in the app that you can configure to take them to any kind of link that you want. It can be your website, it can be the full gallery, whatever you want. And here I sent myself a test link. So I received here, I'm just gonna click on install app. It's gonna take me to the page to download it. So I'm just gonna tap here the three dots and then and then just click install app so install app from pixelset yeah install it's adding this right now to my home screen okay it just added here to the screen i'm just gonna click it for us to see how it looks like and it just opens the same way that we previewed it there on the computer with the main picture here all the pictures down here and here by the bottom, we can see the view full gallery that's just gonna take me to the full gallery on the desktop website. So it looks really cool to see it here like this with an icon. Anyway, your clients won't expect something like this, so it's pretty cool. And then by the time your clients see the pictures and they wanna comment or they wanna favorite something for you to know which ones they want to be reviewed or they want to be further developed, you can just come here to this icon inside any kind of gallery and you can see the download activity. So I can see for each email that registered to see the website, what they downloaded, if they downloaded the whole pack of images, or if they went through some single photos and downloaded them separately. I can also see the favorite activity according to email also. So I can see how many pictures they liked and which ones. And of course I can also see the store activity if they bought something or not. Now one of the big advantages of this is the re-edit of some picture. Imagine you deliver your files through Dropbox or Google Drive to someone. They're gonna have to comment on the files or they're gonna have to tell you the name of the files that they want to be re-edited or changed something. Inside here, they can just favorite their pictures or make a note on them. You're gonna be able to see all of them here. Like for example, let me check this favorite list over here and up on the right you're gonna have this download button that says export csv file or lightroom copy list and this is gonna give you a list of all the file names that you have to change something so you can just copy this go inside lightroom and then now when you're assigned lightroom you can just come to the filters up here you can use text and just paste all this list over here and you can choose contains all or just contains words or the way that you prefer, you paste them here and it's just going to select exactly that list of files that came from Pixelset. And voila, they're all here. You didn't need to search or pick them one by one or anything. It's just so much faster this way. All right, guys, I hope this website suggestion really helps your workflow of delivering your files to your clients and that it impresses them much more than just a Google Drive or Dropbox delivery. If you have any questions or comments, just write them in the comment section below. And if you don't follow me on Instagram yet, do so, because there you're gonna be able to see the backstage of the production of these videos and much more. So I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.